So we're on our third part of the series Richard Dawkins Christmas Evangelist and we're just thinking about science and the nature of science. Uh, Richard Dawkins on the program at Al Jazeera debating, I think it might have been Oxford or somewhere like that, um, debating with Muslims, he was asked the question about is science the only way of knowing something and um, can science answer the big questions and he said no science can't answer the big questions and um, one of the questions is how do you know that your wife loves you do you need can you have evidence to to know that she your, your wife loves you or your husband loves you um, is science can science tell you that or do you need science to tell you that and he admitted he admitted generally about science um, can't answer the big questions but he said well actually someone loving you there would be evidence for that but that's not the same as scientific evidence you know so science so he admits on the grand scale that science can't answer the big questions and to me he just seemed really ignorant about philosophy and theology and how philosophy and theology answer some of the big questions about being and, and about purpose and, and, and ethics etc and I just feel that really um, you know that the scientific question of does my wife or husband love me is not a scientific question you know in other words there are there are things in life that go beyond science how can you scientifically quantify whether someone loves you or not and you know I think there is this Bump, drum beating all the time by Dawkins and these militant atheists of science, science, science. But it, it's just making science into some kind of god, and it's kind of like a real fear factor about anything outside that parameter must not be considered. And it, to me, it seems extremely um, restrictive and fearful and closed and restrictive and doesn't answer some of the big questions of life and therefore theology and philosophy um, have a significant role to play a central role to play in answering some of those big questions about love about the meaning and purpose of life and Jesus dying on a cross giving his life for us is a great example of us living a life of love and what love can be in a life and uh, I think that's significant for us to discuss and has massive implications for society but unfortunately science uh, doesn't have any answers to these big questions about love about relationships and about purpose and meaning what do you think? Let me know. Take care now.